वेलकम टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट बूट स्ट्रैप सैम्पलिंग इन फर्स्ट वीडियो वी शुड टॉक अबाउट बूट स्ट्रैप सैम्पलिंग एंड इन द सेकंड वीडियो वी शुड टॉक अबाउट बूट स्ट्रैप सिमुलेशन इन इकोनोमेट्रिक्स एंड रिग्रेशन एनालिसिस सो एट द मोमेंट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट बूट स्ट्रैप सैम्पल एंड देन वील कैलकुलेट बूट स्ट्रैप स्टेटिस्टिक्स mean median interquartile range standard deviation but we shall construct confidence interval only for bootstrap mean so let's we have a small sample whenever we have small sample and we don't know what is the underlying distribution we go for bootstrap estimators so from this sample which is which i have named sample we calculate we pick one number by this using this formula which is used to pick any of these random number uh, any of these numbers randomly and this sampling is with replacement so we just calculate here the first sample and then we'll take okay fine now you have 97 is picked up let's take a sample of size 10 So this is a sample of size ten with replacement. Let's take two hundred samples of size ten. So we have two hundred samples of size ten. No. Let's calculate mean of each sample. Equal to average of this sample. This is mean of first sample, and now you have to drag it till two hundred sample means, and you calculate its mean. So these these are the two uh, means of sample of size ten. Let's calculate median. We have one. and similarly we can calculate interquartile range and quartile we use inclusive array is this sample of size 10 quarter 3 minus quartile again inclusive array is first quarter so that will be your interquartile range and similarly we can calculate sample standard deviation so std evs and we have an array of sample this one and we can double click now we can calculate now if we have uh, now you see this sample has a mean of 40 but since there are extreme values sample size is small we don't know what is the underlying distribution to construct confidence interval for this sample mean which comes out to be 40 here you see 40 so we can arrange these 200 values in uh, ascending or descending order and we can calculate 95% confidence interval using this these 200 simulated values that will be your critical values another way around is that let's have a, uh, a frequency distribution we can we can calculate frequency distribution here minimum value is 23 and maximum value is uh, so let's we start with 20 25 and up to let's say 75 no let's calculate equal to frequency our array is b2 to b203 okay uh, let's say 20 okay no no we are calculating it for mean so mean is here and our frequency okay frequency is array is this one 
so we'll get an error because we have to select the whole this one this this whole one this whole range and now we have this one control shift enter so this is your frequency distribution and now you can have a plot of this and that's your sampling distribution of this bootstrap sample mean it's an the advantage of bootstrap is that even if you don't even for distributions uh, for statistics which are difficult which don't have any underlying distribution like r square interquartile range you can calculate sampling distribution for those statistics using this uh, this uh, uh, strategy now you